Hey everyone! This is a follow-up video for the one I did on dry skin and dry lips. We talked just briefly about how sometimes lip balms or lotions actually dry out your skin at the same time as moisturizing it, so you need more. Which I remembered <laughs> this past weekend because I had an old lipstick. You should probably not keep them that long, but I had an old lipstick and I usually use the Young Living lipstick, but I had an old one in my bag that I um, kept and I used it for the first time in forever because you know, I'm pretty quarantined. I don't wear makeup very often, but nonetheless, I couldn't believe it. Later on that day, my lips were so dry. So I tossed that finally and I'm realizing everything that I use read the labels because it's really interesting what are what's in some of our products that could be con, um, contributing to dryness but I wanted to let you guys know about three products you may not know exist one is the Young Living dry skin serum I had no idea this existed um, I was doing a vendor fair in New Mexico which is a very dry climate and somebody asked if I had it and I didn't even know it existed. So of course I got it and um, I use it on my face once in a while. Um, sometimes I'll put the sandalwood cream over it. I have a really nice face regimen. Um, I used to use the Art Skin Care System. I switched over to the Bloom Skin Care System recently. I love them both, but a couple times a week, if not every night, I'll put the sandalwood cream because it's really thick on my face and I'll mix other things into it either more sandalwood or frankincense or the manuka um, and sometimes I use this too so the sandalwood cream is very thick I know not everyone likes that some people like the Boswalla cream um, the sheer lume I like them all but I really do like a thick cream once in a while so the dry skin serum interesting amazing right the other thing that I have is the lip Lux, and I just use this once in a while or as needed for the health of my lips it's pretty amazing it's one of the savvy mineral products and I don't know how it escaped my radar but somebody was posting how much they loved it and I'm like wow I don't have that so it's quite lovely. <laughs> so just wanted to put this on your radar. And finally, I think some of you may know about the rose ointment. This lasts forever. <laughs> just a little bit is all you need. And if you have any dry patches anywhere, it's great for that. Sometimes I use it on my lips if I need it. It's also great to add any other oils to. Um, to put on your skin. It reminds me of the consistency of the um, animal sense ointments. So sometimes I'll use that on my feet, um, especially in the winter, but with other oils. And, but this is, is absolutely wonderful. So I just wanted to share those three things with you, put them on your radar. They all last a really long time. They're really high quality especially if you're working with dry skin and happy oiling <laughs>